What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the monthly Blu-ray haul for the month of March. This is where I show you every single brand new piece of physical media that is joining my current ever-growing collection. Now in this video, we're doing something a little bit different because this has never happened before. I have to open up a package during a Blu-ray haul because the items inside of the package, and I'll show you right here from Amazon, these movies, I know what's in here, these movies came out the last Tuesday of March. So I'd like to count them for the March Blu-ray haul and not April. So I'm unboxing something and then I'm going to show you everything else that joined the collection in the month of March. So let's get started, shall we? I know you're dying to know what's in here and I'm dying to open this package because I know what's in here and I'm dying to open this. So let's open it. And it's a tearaway. You guys know I love my tearaways. So here we go. Here we go. All right. This is a first time. I've never opened up a package during a Blu-ray haul. Usually everything has already come in, but you know what? Sometimes Amazon does not work with you and you just got to roll with it. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Once I open this, we are not going backwards. There's no there's no re-editing. There is no editing. There's no retakes in this at all whatsoever. You guys already know this. Let's go. Woo! That was a good rip. That was a good rip. Okay. So what do we have in here? We have two movies and two slip covers. Yes! Oh, that's what I like to see. Thank you, Amazon. So what's in here, guys? Well, we have the Iron Claw. I went to see this movie at the theater. This was my third favorite movie from last year. This is based on a true story of a wrestling family tragedy. Tragedy is all written all over this movie, but it's a fantastic film. Zac Efron is amazing in this movie. His best performance. Best performance he's ever given. I hope he does more dramatic work in the future because he thrives. He really does. He thrives in dramatic roles. Now, let me check out the slip cover really quick because obviously I did not do that. So let me look at this. And it's got a little, you know, whatever in the corner, but it's okay. I can deal with it. I got to deal with it. Uh, it's not the best, but I'll take it. I know I'm being nitpicky, but I can't help it. All right. But I have a slip cover and that's all that matters. Be grateful, Susan. Be grateful you have a slip cover. So Iron Claw, I'm looking forward to re-watching this, especially with my mom, because I told her a lot about this movie and she's been very curious about it. So we will probably watch this very, very soon. So the Iron Claw Blu-ray, I highly recommend this movie. If you have not seen it already, put it on your pickup list. Put it on there. All right, so Iron Claw, we got that one. Now, what is the other movie from the month of March? Well, I heard a lot of positive feedback about this horror film. It is called When Evil Lurks. My curiosity got to me and it was a decent enough price. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to get it. And I'm looking forward. Let me check out the slip. Yeah, it's got some nicks. It's got some wear and tear. It's got some dings, but you know what? That's okay too. So I'm looking forward to watching this one as well. And I will report back to you. So here are two brand new Blu-rays with kind of just okay slip covers, but then I just got to get over it with slip covers from the month of March. So there we go. Two last minute entries. All right. So we got the Iron Claw. There we go. <laughs> sailing over there. We got the Iron Claw Blu-ray and When Evil Lurks Blu-ray. So now let's dive into everything else I picked up in the month of March. And I like to start off with movies from studios and people that I work with like High Def Ninja, my physical media hookup as I like to call him. And I'm starting off with items that he sent over to me. And he was so overly generous. Let me tell you, he just really, really hooked me up in the month of March. I cannot remember. Did Wonka come out in March? It might have. <laughs> it might have. You know what? I don't have the Wonka Steelbook. If it did, I might have already shown that in the February. I know I showed it off. I think I showed it in the February Blu-ray haul, but did it come out in March? I really can't remember. 
my memory's gone. And you know what? I've already started filming. I'm not, I'm not going back. So let's just move forward. So what did high def send over to me? Well, we got a lot of steel because there were tons of Walmart exclusive steel books coming out because as we know, Walmart is now, you know, picking up the slack where Best Buy dropped it. So now Walmart has a lot of exclusive steel books or they're just taking over the steel book game. And so because of that, High Def Ninja wanted to get the word out there and he sent a lot of steel books over to me, including the Wonka steel book. Thank you so much for that High Def. But also among that, we have the Super Mario Brothers Steelbook, which I did see at my local Walmart today. I popped in just for a second, and this Steelbook was there. So check your local Walmart stores. You may be able to find this. So Super Mario Brothers with the, the toadstool on the front. So we got that one. My favorite film from the year this came out, The Batman, was what, two years ago? Three? I can't even remember. The Batman 4K Steelbook. There we go. So we sent that one over to me. The Batman Beyond Complete Series. Now, I don't normally go for, you know, animation, but I may start. I may start because a lot of people were commenting about the Steelbook. Have I started watching it yet? Like, a lot of you. So I may start. That's looking cool on the back. I do like that. And also... The Glow in the Dark 4K Steelbook for Battlestar Galactica. As you guys know, Walmart put out Glow in the Dark 4K Steelbooks for Battlestar Galactica, Dune, Fast X, and also, oh, what was the fourth one? I always forget the fourth one. <laughs> Fast X. And, oh, gosh, I can't remember. But there's four of them. There's four of them. So Battlestar Galactica was one, Battlestar Galactica, there we go, was one of those. So we sent that over. And on top of that, we're not done yet. On top of that, High Def Ninja also sent over because we got Aquaman 2 in the month of March. So he hooked me up with the steelbook for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. So I was thrilled because, you know, Marvel and DC, I always go for that steelbook. So there we go. Aquaman 2. But on top of that, he also hooked me up again because when he sent over Aquaman 2, he also, in that same package, sent over the 4K Glow in the Dark for Dune. So this was awesome as well. And let me tell you, I'm into Dune now. I am. I am into Dune. A couple of years ago when, you know, the first Dune was coming out into theaters, I'm like, why is everyone obsessed with Dune? I didn't get it because I like didn't really understand it. But let me tell you, I did some research. I did some Googling. I asked people. I'm like, treat me like I'm a kindergartner. I don't know anything. Try to explain Dune to me because I want to try to get it. I want to try to understand it. And I feel like I have somewhat of a grasp of understanding Dune now. And I enjoyed the first Dune. And I did go and see Dune Part 2 in the theater, but we're not talking about that in today's video. That's going to be tomorrow. So there's a preview right there. But Dune, I'm into it. I'm into it now, surprisingly enough. So I'm happy that I have that steel book. That's the whole point of this little rant. All right, and the final items that I received from studios, Warner Brothers was very generous to me yet again and hooked me up with a couple of brand new 4Ks with the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom 4K slipcover as well as the color purple Color Purple was such a fantastic rewatch. The 4K is gorgeous looking. So I highly, highly recommend you pick up the 4K if you have to order it online because Walmart, for some reason, my location did not have the 4K. I highly recommend the 4K. It looks amazing. So order it online if you have to. There we go from the WB. Thank you, WB. I really appreciate that. All right, so now we just have regular steel books that I bought for myself. I still do that. I still buy for myself. Okay, so I could not remember. I believe these steel books came out the first Tuesday of March on March 5th, but I can't remember if I got them early and I showed them in February's Blu ray haul. So if I did, I'm going to show them again. Okay, like I can't remember at this point. So. 
Brawl and Cell Block 99. I ordered that one online. And also Prisoners of the Ghostland. This one, I talked about it in new release review. I don't recommend this one. I really, really don't. Only pick up this movie if you are a hardcore Nicolas Cage fan like myself and you collect everything that he does. That's the only honest reason I can give you to pick up this movie and the Steelbook. Unless you're a Steelbook collector. I guess that's the other reason. But if you're a casual Nick Cage fan, you don't need this. If you're not even a fan, you definitely don't need this. Like, you don't need it. It's really not that great. It's really not. <laughs> it's not. It's not good. It's not good. All right. Recently, I picked up in my brand new Steelbook little section that I have at my Walmart. They did have the 4K of Mayhem, so I did snag that one. There were a couple copies left, so I didn't want to miss out on it. And actually, I don't believe that they were there when I went today. So I'm happy I picked this up when I did. So Mayhem, 4K Steelbook. There we go. I like the Steelbook. Looks very nice. I like that one. And the final Blu-ray Steelbooks, Walmart exclusives as well, we have Little Monsters. I love the color. I love the pops of color in these Steelbooks. They look great. We have the Blu-ray Steelbook of Kickboxer. Yes. And finally, we have Shivers. There we go. I love the green. Love that emerald green color. So those are all Walmart exclusive steel books. So go to the website, order them, go to your local store. They were actually in mine today. So you never know. They might be in your local store. Okay. So those are all pretty much the steel books and the promotional items from studios. Again, Warner Brothers. Thank you. Hi, Def. Thank you again. You are amazing. Okay, so now let's move on to... Uh, I got some stuff on a sale. This is the, uh, what, the Scream Factory Love is in the Scare sale. So I ordered these in February, and they finally showed up in, like, early March. Okay. Because with Scream Factory, they kind of tend to take a little bit. So they finally showed up. So what did I order for my Love is in the Scare sale? Well... I went ahead and picked up the Omen collection because the brand new Omen movie is opening in theaters this coming Friday. It's called The First Omen, and it is a prequel to the original Omen film. So I'm kind of curious. I've never seen any of these movies, this whole franchise. I'm blind. I've never seen any of them. So I would kind of like to watch these before the first omen if I do decide to go and see it you know what I mean so I figure I might as well pick up the box set I've always thought about buying it but I just never did before in the past so I figure might as well now's the perfect time to do so so the omen collection I like this little box I like the crow it's like a crazy crazy crow on the back of there so that's awesome looking forward to watching those and then I also from the same sale, I did pick up, boom, a couple of 4Ks. I have to pick up some 4Ks. So I previously passed on the burning because I said to myself, I'm just going to wait for a sale. It's going to go down in price. I'm happy that I waited because it was obviously a nice discount. And the same with Motel Hell. And they both showed up with slipcovers. So very happy about that. And Motel Hell, I believe, is the one that came with the poster as well. The poster is in the closet back there. The Michael Myers closet, as I call it. So the poster's in the closet. So I got two movies, a poster, and a box set collection on, of Blu-ray. So that's it. I didn't go overly crazy with the Love is in the Scare sale. I was trying to, trying to watch it, I guess, a little bit in the month of March. I don't know. All right, so let me show actually the other box set that I did receive. This was my Valentine's Day gift from Mama Blu-ray because I was waiting for this collection box set to go on sale because normally it was over $200. I believe it was $215. That is way too expensive. So when the price went down to $149, I jumped on it. So I had Mama Blu-ray's credit card with permission, obviously, and I went ahead and I picked this up. So the next Columbia Classics 
collection box set. This is volume four, six 4K films in this box set. I do have an entire unboxing of this collection set in case you guys are interested in checking it out. I believe it's still currently discounted to $143, which is even cheaper than what I paid for this. So you may want to consider it is still on sale. You might want to jump on it, but you have six movies on 4K. Here's the movies right here, right there. So I'm looking forward to diving into this whenever I get the chance. I'm actually watching one of them. Guess who's coming to dinner because Katherine Hepburn's in that movie and this month of April, it's all about Katherine Hepburn and Audrey Hepburn movies. So I am watching the Guess Who's Coming to Dinner film with Katherine Hepburn, but that's the only one from this set that I'm watching right now. But thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mama Blu-ray, for my Columbia Classics. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I say it every single month. Everyone needs a Mama Blu-ray, okay? Because <laughs> she is so generous and so fantastic. But it's to her benefit, too, because we live together and we watch all these movies together every single night. So she would pay for it anyway, right? Not really, but okay. <laughs> it's a good excuse. It's a good excuse. Okay, so now next up we have 4Ks, regular 4Ks, slip covers, no slip covers. And I only picked up three regular 4Ks besides, you know, the Scream Factory stuff. Boom. The ever controversial, true, the ever controversial James Cameron 4Ks. The Abyss should be arriving today. That is arriving today with another film that I did pre order. So I will be watching that very soon, very soon. So I could talk about that 4K transfer as well. But I've heard the Abyss transfer is the best out of the three. But anyway, Aliens and True Lies. I watched both, I enjoy them. I think they look great. Some people may be more particular. I am not. I am of the side of, is it better than the Blu-ray? Or in True Lies case, is it better than the, than the DVD? Yes, it is. So because of that, I am perfectly okay and fine with these 4K transfers. There's nothing wrong with them to me. I enjoyed them. I talked about them in new release review, the, re the most recent video of that. If you want to check out that video, I'm holding, you know, each one of them like this, you know. So check out my thoughts about that because this is just a Blu-ray haul. I don't want to get into, you know, the specifics of that. But if you want my opinion about those in more, in more depth, there you go. Yeah, in more depth, then check out that video. But I, I enjoyed them. They looked fine to me. They're fine enough for me. Okay. And same thing. I, I got to get better with remembering what movies I buy and when and what month. Because did I show off Moon already in February? Or was this in March? I honestly can't remember. I think it's in March. I think I unboxed this in March. But I could be wrong. But if I am wrong, oh well, I'm showing it again. But Moon on 4K, Sam Rockwell. I want to increase my Sam Rockwell Blu-ray collection or movie collection. And I'd gotten rid of Moon. I had it on Blu-ray and I got rid of it. Why? I don't know. I wasn't overly thrilled with the movie, but I never should have gotten rid of it because it's Sam and he's the entire film. Like, what am I doing? What am I thinking? So that was a big regret. So I figure if I'm going to rebuy it, I might as well pick up the 4K. It was like $18. So now I have Moon back in my collection. I don't know what I was doing. Like, Susan, <laughs> it's Sam. Don't get rid of Sam. Speaking of Sam, there was another movie I picked up with Sam Rockwell, a regular Blu-ray. Now we're getting into the regular Blu-rays. Frost Nixon. Never seen this one. This will be a first time watch as well. Looking forward to that one. I did pick up Anyone But You. I highly enjoyed this one. This one surprised me a little bit because me and rom-coms, it's not my go-to genre for movie watching, but you know what? It made such a huge amount of money at the box office. No one expected this film to be as successful as it was. And I figure, you know what? It was successful for a reason. Let me pick it up. Let me watch it. I enjoyed it. So I recommend anyone but you two guys. All right. This was a must, a must pick up for me. Poor things. 
my favorite film from last year. I absolutely loved and adored this movie. Rewatched it. It is, it's so good. It, it, is it overly sexual? Yes. Yes, it is. There's a lot of nudity, but I respect Emma Stone for completely just being fearless for this role and taking it on and making it what it was. It won her the Oscar for a reason. She's fantastic. This character of Bella Baxter that she created with Yorgos Lanthimos is iconic, really. Like, you're going to remember this character for a long time. At least that's what I think. I will remember her for a while. So I highly enjoyed this movie. There's other elements to this movie as well that I love. It's funny. It's very, very sm smartly written. Is that like the correct way? It's very intelligently written. There we go. Because <laughs> I sound dumb saying that. But I don't know. It's a great script. It's a smart script. I love it. It's not for everyone, as I said before, but I enjoy it and that's all that matters. It was my favorite film from last year, as I said. So this was a must get. I had to pick up Poor Things. All right, so I'm just going to show these both at the same time. We got Ferrari and also ISS, both with slipcovers. I picked these up because they were cheap enough. These were complete blind buys. I did not see these movies at the theater. ISS was $12 and Ferrari was only $16. Very reasonable, extremely cheap. So I don't mind paying that for blind buys, you know, because if I don't really care for the movie, then at least I didn't pay $20 for it. You know what I'm saying? So that wasn't too bad. And I recently watched both of those. I'll be talking about those in the next new release review. And I picked up a brand new Kino Lorber Blu-ray. I don't normally do that, but it did go down in price a little bit. So I figure I'll pick it up for Katherine Hepburn for the month of April. It is the Lion in Winter. I showed this off in yesterday's video as well, but you know, I have to show it off in today's video too. So Lion in Winter, looking forward. That's a first time watch. I'll be watching that. And my final two pickups, these were random finds at Walmart and they were a reasonable enough price. So I figure why not pick them up? So I recently picked up the five film horror collection from A24. I have three of these movies, but two of them I do not. So in this collection pack, we have Hereditary X and The Vivitch or The Witch. I just call it The Witch. Some people call it The Vivitch. I just call it The Witch. Um, but I don't have Green Room or It Comes at Night, and I've never seen them. So for this, it was $19.96, so say $20. That's reasonable. You're getting five movies in this collection pack. So that's a reasonable price. Picked it up. And with a nice slip cover on it. You can't beat that. Nice looking slip. And the final item, I was really excited to find this one. Because even though I love Marvel, I've never seen any of the X-Men movies at all whatsoever. And I figured to prepare for Deadpool and Woo... <laughs> I knew I was going to say that wrong with Deadpool and Wolverine. There we go. Upcoming movie this summer. I kind of need some background, you know, so I'm probably going to binge a lot of X-Men movies to get ready. And of course, rewatch Deadpool one and two. So I found this X-Men one, two and three in a nice little trilogy collection with a slip for like $14.95. What a great price. What a great price point for three movies on Blu-ray that I don't have. I don't mind that it's not on 4K because I do have other X-Men movies that aren't on 4K. They're pretty much all on Blu-ray. So because of that, the Blu-ray is fine for me. I don't mind. So I like it. I thought it was worth it. So I picked it up. So that is, let me just showcase again <laughs> really quickly. Let me showcase again today's from today's unboxing when evil lurks and also the iron claw from the last tuesday in march so there we go so that is everything that i was gifted from studios or i picked up in the month of march i think i have enough for now that's what i always say so that's everything comment down below and let me know how many movies did you pick up in the month of march don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.